Good evening, people. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Welcome, everybody. I'm glad to have you back. Please turn your cameras on. Full names displayed. And let's start. Time to take attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Where are you at? Give me a second. Okay, Ada, make sure you write down your full name, please. Okay, ya lo cambio, teacher. Thank you. Siempre aparece todos los días así. Um, you have to change it before you log in. Okay. Hay que cambiarlo antes que se conecte. Y ahí okay. ya, ya le va a aparecer siempre. Ya lo cambio. Thank you. Ana María Chacón de García. Present. Cardivania Cabrera Serrano. No, present. Débora Raquel Soto Martínez. Débora. No, present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. No, present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Thank you. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. José Saúl González Roque. Present. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Thanks. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. No, present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Miren. Not present. René Alfonso Great. Madrid Escalante. René Alfonso. Not present. Reina María Isabel Álvarez de Chávez. Not present. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present teacher. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Sandra Elizabeth. Okay. Okay. okay, I see you. Veo que este que me está diciendo presente, aunque no se escuche, sí la tomo como presente. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Thank you. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Luis Omaña Orellana. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank you very much. Anybody who just got here, I didn't mention. Alguien que se acabe de conectar. Deborah Soto, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Deborah Raquel Martinez Soto, I got you. Yes. Okay. Ren Alfonso Madrid Escalante, you too, right? Present, teacher. Thank you very much. All right, guys, so you know the drill, right? What was yesterday's topic? Mm -hmm. Yesterday's topic, real quick. Up to you, what clause? What clauses, that's right. Um, what examples can you give me? Um, what you need, what uh -huh. different did, what, what you I need, what do. What I am saying. What my friend did, and remember here, you can change friend. How do you say? How do you say lo que hizo mi hermano? What my brother did. What my brother. Uh -huh. What my brother did was lo que hizo mi papá. What my father did, and you just start changing them. What was the other one? Lo que yo haría. What I'm saying, what I would do. Oh, what I would do. What I would do. Remember that are these followed by other verbs or are these followed by the verb to? ¿Qué le sigue? ¿El verbo to be u otros verbos? Verb to be. Verb to be. That's right. Verb to be. How do you say um, lo que el presidente haría? What the president would do. Uh -huh. What the president would do. That's right. All you got to do is changing the subject. 
lo que haría Carla Yanet. What Carla Yanet would, would do, that's right. Lo que haría William. What William would do? Lo que él haría. He would do. What he would do, that's right. So you can play with the subjects and also with the verbs and complements. And the other one is, lo que estoy diciendo is, what I'm saying is, that's right. Lo que yo estaba diciendo. What I'm saying. 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 What I was saying. So what, 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 what I was saying. All righty, guys. So you know, you know what to do. Um, I need you to have like a casual chat. We gotta put it in practice. So we're gonna do it again. I'm gonna give you about. Uh, it's eight oh six. Yeah, I will still have time. I'm gonna give you about ten minutes for you to go to the breakout rooms and for you to practice this. Okay. After that, we start with what's left. Create another conversation real quick. Um, you can ask for advice. Hey, I need to get a job. For example, what you need is to check um, Clasificados ST. For example, what my friend did was to check OLX. I don't know what that, what that has to do with jobs, right? But I'm just creating. What I would do is go knocking some doors. Iría tocar puertas, right? So try to have a topic and then you build it. No se, no se enfoquen tanto en crear como una super conversación. Pueden ir de una oración a la otra ocupando esto. Okay? So go ahead and practice it. Go to the breakout rooms and I'm going to see you in about eight to ten minutes. Any questions? No? All right. Let's do this, guys. We're going to have uh, seven groups. Rene, Jose, and Deborah, did you get the invite? Pues nada, dijo que teníamos que hacer una pequeña conversación y para practicar los, la web class. Y que consiguiéramos un tema, un topic. Y que en base a eso hiciéramos una conversación. This is a free topic, guys. I'm hungry, I'm hungover. Ando de goma, tengo hambre, tengo sueño, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Just put it in practice. Mm. Mm. Well, William, ¿quieres, ¿quieres ir a la playa de nuevo? <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, Friday. Um, okay. <laughs> Go for it, guys. Credencias. Uh -huh. so, for example, what do you do need more money for your job? Yeah, I need a better job. That's a good one. And it can be anything, guys. I am hungry, I'm sleepy, whatever. Just go with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what you what you bought it in your work. Come again. What you bought it in. What your boss did, lo que hizo tu jefe. Yes. Okay, and what is yeah. the context? What is the context? What is the function? What is the function? What is the function of the jefe? What is the position of the jefe? Mm -hmm. 
like being, being a supervisor, for example? Yeah, it can be. Uh, you can say, for example, the scenario can be, I, I want to be the boss. Quiero ser el jefe. And then you can start giving advice. Lo que necesitas es tal cosa. Ah, lo que mi amigo hizo fue tal cosa. So the point is this. No importa cuál sea el topic, lo pueden decir nada más, ah, como les dije, tengo hambre. Ah, lo que necesitas hacer es preparar tu sándwich. Lo que hizo mi amigo ayer que tenía hambre fue ir a McDonald's, por ejemplo. Y van de una a otra, lo pueden ocupar para dar consejos. Okay. okay. All right. Work on that, guys. We, we only have like okay. seven minutes left. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, sale la vacuna. Vamos a hablar de la vacuna. ¿Qué vacunaste, William? William. Eh, William. No, Jeff. Es que parece que no lo confundo. All right, come on, go for it. Me confundo. Yo con no, hermanito. No, Jeff. O sea, tengo... All right, good job. Continue. Hey, girls, how are you doing? Hi. Hi. Okay. You're pretty quiet. Yeah. Is everything okay? Yeah, because we are trying to create our conversation. She's going to give me an idea and I'm going to create another one. Okay. Uh, we are working in or not. So for that reason, we are not talking. Oh, but okay. Are... Um, okay. I would prefer for you to help each other, for you to work as a group, not individually. It's going to be better. Okay. Mm -hmm. So remember, good. whatever, okay. guys. Uh, digamos que ustedes le ponen, I'm sleepy. Y eso es todo, una, una oración. Y en base a eso, um, what, you need to, what you need to do is, lo que necesitas es irte a la cama. Um, lo que mi amigo sí, hizo fue algo, tomarse una pastilla. Algo así, de Algo así, de una, algo. From, algo así uh, le, le decía que, que nos encontrábamos casualmente y que me veía preocupada y yo le decía, necesito comprar algo. What do you need? ¿Qué es lo que tú necesitas en este momento? Uh -huh. Y ahí puedes partir una conversación, ¿no? Pienso. Uh -huh. keep, it, keep it easy. De una a la otra. Give it a try. Ustedes van a pasar al frente. Turkey face. Hey, Pacho. Hi, Catherine. What are you doing? Hi, René. Hi, René. I am planning my vacation. Ah, okay. Uh, what do you need to vacation or after? What do you need to vacation? Uh -huh. What do you need to vacation? Mm -hmm. What you need to do? What you need? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or what you need is to uh -huh. go on vacation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What you need is to go. Yeah, what you need is, and here you're going to start to go on vacations, to go on vacation, to travel around the world, etc. Remember that these phrases are normally followed by the verb to be. So, what you need is to, and you to continue. Go. Okay. <clears throat> okay, what you need is to go on vacation, Catherine. What, what you need is? To go on vacation. To go on vacation. Lo que necesitas es ir de vacaciones. Yep. Sí. Para okay. tus vacaciones. Sí, Pero viajar, entonces ya no, ya no iría, ya no iría lo que la, lo que le di. No es que ahí me lo está diciendo en forma de respuesta, no me lo está diciendo en forma de pregunta. O oh, no sé si ya, yo creo que ya me confundí. Sí. Acuérdate que tú me dijiste que, que que estás planeando tu vacación. Ajá. Vale, que necesitas para tu vacación. Ah, ok. Sería Viajar, así. acampar, estudiar. Ah, okay. Ajá, Trabajar. por eso entonces ya sería Ajá. en forma de pregunta, ya no lo estaría diciendo como una respuesta. Mm, you, can actually, you can actually say it as a sentence, guys. Me quiero ir de vacaciones. Lo que necesitas es irte al Tunco unos tres días. 
Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. So you're saying uh -huh. it as a sentence. Ah, fíjate que lo que hizo mi amigo es que se fue a pulo. La pasó bien chivo. Mm -hmm. Facilita. Mm -hmm. Entonces sería, what you need is to go vacation at the beach. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. On the beach. Okay. To the beach. The, mm -hmm. To the beach. That's right. Go ahead, guys. Continue. Keep it up. Okay. We need a song. Hi. Hello. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? Uh, we are doing well. Okay. I want to see how 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 well you're doing. Okay. We are creating a conversation for someone who is going to get married. Oh my God! Why that topic? No, I'm kidding. Uh, huh? It's fine. Uh, uh, come on. <laughs> it's fine. Get up, Sandra. Uh, I don't know where Sandra is. Pierde la conexión, creo. Yeah, she's mm -hmm. having internet issues. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, what do you have? Entonces, um, estábamos en... What you need is a lot of flowers. Mm -hmm. Okay, aquí puedo incluir entonces otra. What I am saying is that I don't want what to spend I want a lot to... of time. Siempre se te corta. Repeat, repeat please. <laughs> okay. Ahora. Now? Yes. Yes. Oh, I see. I think it is. What I am saying is that I don't want to spend a lot of money. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying oh. is that I don't want to spend a lot of money. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what I will do is mm -hmm. to mm, regalar, bring, no, eh, Give away. Uh -huh. What Ufa, I will do. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> Eso, Good, keep it up. Mm -hmm. ah. um. Hi, Hi, Rina. Hi, la, la misma, o sea, voy a seguir la fluidez de la conversación. Eh, en, yo, te voy a hacer la misma pregunta, Rina. Um, and you, Rina, are you going to go to your house right now? Yes, I go. I go. Yes, 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 I donde me quedé de six y le pusiera, pudiéramos poner eh, What Rina, Rina did. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es lo que voy a hacer? Hi Rina, what, okay. what, oh, algo así, no sé. Um, como si no sigamos la conversación que dijo este, Sabrina. No, pero está bien la idea de, 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 de Carlos. Entonces, uh, la respondí, I am going home, right on, right now. I am going home, right now. I am going home, right now. I am going home, I am going home, right now. I don't want to quit me, get quit. No quiero mojarme. Ah, I don't want to get wet. Get wet. Get, G-E-T, get wet. Yes. Go for it, guys. You got, like, no more than two, three minutes, okay? Wrap it up. Yes. Yes. Speak, so tell, tell your neighbor and friends uh, that you will sell your car. Okay, good idea. And tell me, what will you do in my case? Uh, and what I will do is is show the car in Facebook and on Facebook and on, uh, on Facebook so <laughs> on Facebook and put a good price. Oh, sounds great. I'm going to post the photograph in Encuentra 24. 
What is that? Este, I'm going to post the photograph or public, sería, teacher. ¿Cómo voy a publicar las fotos en Encuentro 24? O sea, la página. Ah, Encuentro 24. Is, is that the name of the, Ajá, the website? Donde... Ajá. Yeah, I'm going to post ¿Cómo? it or I'm going to publish it. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you use post or publish. Entonces sería, I'm going to publish the photographs in Encuentro 24. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. Nice, Miguel. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me, how many dollars does does the car cost? Oh, I thinking of selling it for five thousand dollars. What do you think? Mm, it's a good price. Can you show me? Yes. Maybe, With the place. Maybe I, maybe I am going to buy. <laughs> okay. Very good. Uh, I'm going to show. Yeah, I'm going to show you on Saturday. Okay, nice. Okay, thank you. Only time. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. Good job. Um, make sure, for example, in this one, Miguel, whenever you say what five thousand dollars, you said. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, make sure that you say dollars. Dollars. Mm -hmm. Dollars. That's Five thousand right. dollars. That's right. One hundred. Okay. Uh, let's say two hundred dollars. For example, in Spanish, we we use the millones, uh -huh. miles in plural, right? But in English, okay. it's not the same. So, for example, five thousand. We don't no. say thousands. Ah, okay, five thousand dollars. Dollars. Uh -huh. Dollars is in plural. That's so right. Singular. Mm -hmm. Okay. Unless you say, unless you say thousands of people, miles de personas, I see, hundreds no. of cars, cientos de vehículos, okay. I see. Okay, perfect. Oh, nice. Okay. I understand. Okay. All right, very good. Let me check one more group and we just have two more minutes, okay? Okay, one more time, okay. Carla. Okay. Vaya, amor. Uh -huh. Hey guys, we, we got a minute. How are you doing? The Zion. Have the Zion. And, and you need learn. Learn drive on a motorcycle. Learn how to ride. How to. How to ride. Mm -hmm. How to ride a motorcycle. Oh, how, uh, to ride. how to ride a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. And what would you say? How do you say letter? Letrero. Sign. Okay. Sign. Um, Sign is also what? firmar. Si se ocupa como verbo, pero como noun de tránsito. Let's get this done. I need people who didn't participate yesterday first. Or did everybody participate yesterday? Yeah, right? Todos participaron anoche. Okay, so yeah. I just need three volunteers. Come on, show me your, your job. Guys, acuérdense, quieren que los voluntarios sean primero los que sienten que les cuesta. No se queden con las dudas. Okay. Ah. Que no participan y no me demuestran cómo ayudarles, no voy a poder. Vamos, let's do this. I don't know if Ada would like to participate. Okay. Awesome. Go ahead. Okay. I would like you to get new job uh, in a call center. Okay, ah. what you need to do is to study English. Mm -hmm. Where I can learn English? Well, what I would do is study at Inglés Corporativo. How I can apply to apply? How can I apply? How can I apply? Oh. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> okay. What my thing was to send a request to in support. So I, I think that 
Um, what I'm saying is that you are going to learn English faster if you study with in the preparatory. Okay, thank That's you. That's it. That is okay. all. Great job, great job. Extra points for the English corporativo mention. Good, I like it. Very well yeah. used. The phrases, what I would do, what you need to do is great. Um, perfect, Iselda and Ada. Next one, please. Come on, guys. Another one. Hello, Jos. Hi, Ana Maria. As you know, I am going to get married soon. Great. Where are you getting married? I am thinking of May. Excellent. What you need is a lot of flowers. Uh, yes, but what I'm saying is I don't want to spend a lot of money. Oh, what my friend did was to search a flowers good mother. Uh -huh. oh, good idea. You are right. That was my sister did when she got married too. Thank you, Anna. Good job, excellent. So <laughs> boom, straight to the point. Okay, great job, I liked it. Congratulations. Um, another one? <clears throat> Come on, then let me get the, the, the chicken out. <laughs> Come on, guys, you can do this. Go for it. Okay, me, Miguel, and, and Carla. Uh huh. Go. Okay. I have an old car, but I don't know how to sell it. I don't know what to do, Carla. Uh, okay. Um, what model is your car? Oh, my car is Audi. Um, years 1,988. It is in excellent condition. Mm, okay, what I will do is take photograph and post it on Facebook. Oh, so great. And tell me, what, what will you do in my case? Um, First, uh, we pay the car, take, uh, take photograph. What you need, talk about the car with your neighbors and friends. And tell me, how many dollars does the car cost? How much? How much? Sorry. Don't be sorry. It's how fine. much dollar? How much dollar does the car cost? Check it. Um, check it on the chat and say it again, Carlita. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I thinking of selling it for five thousand dollars. What do you think? How much? Um, it's a good price. Um, can you show me the car? Yes. I maybe I, I, I am going to buy. Yes, I show you on Saturday. Okay. Okay, nice. Okay, see you. Okay. Good job, guys. Excellent job. Um, I like the fact that you also used it in a question. What would you do? Querias too. I really like that question in particular. Good job. So um, to the rest of you, remember, you always have to participate. Los demás siempre tienen que participar, tanto acá como en los breakout rooms. Okay? Um, cualquier cosa, por favor, escríbanme. Si sienten que no, que no mucho, no todos estamos hechos para trabajar con todos, ¿no? Así que siempre pueden haber ese tipo de, de, de puchica, ahorita no, no puedo participar, no entiendo mucho, poco a poco nos vamos a ir adaptando, pero sí necesito que todos hagamos un esfuerzo, porque por ahí pasó un grupo que eran tres y solo escuché dos, no sé por qué, no sé si fue por eso, entonces, vamos guys, ustedes pueden hacerlo. So, I have a, a question. Uh -huh. Sandra tiene problemas de conexión. Se le desconectó bastante tiempo y no se le escuchaba. Ok. Sí, right. yo me, 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 me también. No, también tenía problemas. Ok, pero... it's ok, it's ok. No, no estaba tirando malas con ustedes en particular. Now, it, internet connection, guys, remember. 
If you're on a cell phone, try to be close to the modem. Traten de estar cerca del modem. Que el Wi-Fi no es mágico. No atraviesa paredes. Literalmente va sobre ellas. So be careful on that one. If you're on a computer, uh, make sure you plug the, uh, the... Get yourself hooked up to the, to the router directly. Conéctense con el cable de internet si están en laptop. Y si están en teléfono, tablet, lo, sea, lo más cerca del modem que se pueda. Y si hay gente en Netflix, si hay gente jugando Call of Duty, uh, en, así en streaming, si hay gente descargando videos 4K, obviamente les va a quitar el ancho de banda. Así que un, un par de tips. Pero mi, mi Wi-Fi ahí. llega hasta afuera, Tich. Ah, qué bueno. Y me avisa qué compañía. Buena con el... All right. So, guys, I have a question for you. Are you good at following instructions? No, really. Check it out. Are you good at following instructions? And repeat it after me, please. Everybody, are you good at following instructions? Are you good at following instructions? Um, yes, I am. But I have to... I have to write down the steps one by one and I need to practice, right? Ask me again. Are you good at following instructions? Are you good at following instructions? No, I am not. I always get confused. I lose focus, right? I, uh, let me see. I just can't. So I want you to please... I wanted to please go ahead and answer this question. I'm just going to give you three minutes, guys. Three minutes in the breakout rooms for you to discuss this and make sure you answer with your own information, okay? Go for it. Are you good at following instructions? Everybody answer. Go. Three minutes only. Go, 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 go. Three minutes only. Are you good at following instructions? Sometimes. Yes, I am, but sometimes. Uh, I get nervous. Ah. <laughs> and are you good at following instructions, Fernando? Yes, I am. It's part, it's part of my job. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so here is when the conversation starts. What do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? Uh -huh. Fernando? I, uh, I am a sharp of develop, develop applications, and mobile, develop. Mobile, mobile apps. Uh -huh. And the instructions uh, are important for, for doing my work. For doing, remember, off for, doing, for, uh, for, for, for doing my, my work. Okay. All right, go. Now you ask Fatima, and Fatima, you ask William, and everybody answers. Go for it. Uh, are you good at following instruction? Who's going to answer that question, Roberto or Hector? No entendí la, la, la instrucción. Aha, that is the... <laughs> Are you good at following instructions? Eres bueno siguiendo instrucciones? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I am not very, very cool. Okay, I'm not very good. Why? I, I am loose, uh, loose, perderse, me pierdo. I get lost. I get lost. Uh -huh. Okay. Because I get lost. Aha. Uh -huh. No, I am not because I get lost or I, I get confused. All right. Jose, you can ask Roberto or you can ask uh, Hector Eduardo. Le puedes preguntar a cualquiera. And you say, uh, for example, Roberto, uh, are you good at following instructions? No. 
Roberto, are you good at following instruction? Uh huh. Robert? No, because no. I lose. Why? Uh huh. Uh, because I lose. I lose what? ¿Qué pierde? O the porque concentration. Me... Ah, nice. I lose focus. I lose focus. Uh huh. That's right. I lose focus. Okay, now you ask uh, Hector, please. Roberto. Hector, are you following instruction? Are you good at following instructions? Depending on the whatever at the world, um, I am one of the best. I am one of the best. Woo! Nice. Yeah. Okay. So um, today, guys, we're going to be working with learning how to work with instructions. Um, real quick, we have like, tenemos como 40 segundos. Sí sé que les puede, que, que hay cierto, ¿cómo le podría decir? Que a veces nos confundimos con ciertas cosas, pero sí he notado que en este grupo como que cuesta un poquito empezar a trabajar. Right? Cualquier, fa cualquier facilitador, lo fácil es cambiarlos de grupo. Sin embargo... Yo creo que lo pueden hacer juntos porque todos nos tenemos que adaptar, vea. Y si les cuesta mucho en algo, digan para que la participación sea más fluida. Pero yo tengo plena confianza en que lo pueden hacer. ¿Ok? Ok. So, en los próximos ejercicios voy a tratar de pasar un rato por ustedes okay. y lo van a lograr, ¿ok? Ok. All righty. Um, I need to get some people here. Um, José Saúl, are you good at following instructions? José Saúl. Eh, sí. Eh. Sí. Hombre, tío. ¿En inglés? ¿Cuál es la pregunta? ¿Are you good at following instructions? No, 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 no. I, I no understand, teacher. Ah, ok. Good. That's good. Um, follow, seguir. ¿Es sí, bueno okay. siguiendo instrucciones? Sí, following instructions, sí, de acuerdo. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. eh, eh, can you give me an example? Sure, ask me. You ask me. Are you good at following instructions? Eh, Ahora tú pregúntame a mí. Are you good at following instructions? La misma pregunta es... Are you good at following instructions? Are you Are you good uh, following instructions? Yes, I am. Or no, I am not. Ah, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And then you explain. You give more information. Let's try it again. Tratemos de nuevo. Are you good at following instructions? Yes, I am. Okay. Very good. Is it easy or difficult for you? Difficult. Okay. Difficult for me. Very good. Ahí está. Aunque sea difícil, es bueno siguiendo instrucciones. Very good. Um, good job, José Saúl. Little by little. Don't worry about it. Um, Carlos Armando, are you good at following instructions? Uh, you're on mute, Carlos Armando. No. No, no understand really the question. Um, yeah, I confuse on the with the answer. Okay. Um, All right. Um, I, I answer, yo, como te digo, yo digo sí, pero mm -hmm. uh, about what? I don't know. All right, that's good. It's okay. When you say, are you good at following instructions, is que si ustedes bueno siguiendo instrucciones. Okay? Okay. Now, this is, is this a yes, no question, guys, or a WH? Um, yes, no, right? So, every yes, time you no. have a yes, no question, you answer the yes, no question. Are you good at blah, blah, blah? Yes, I am, or no, I am not. O sea, okay. con las yes, no questions, siempre van a contestar sí o no. 
y luego ustedes Hoy. pueden dar más información. Ok. ¿Verdad? Es lo que Por ejemplo, ¿cómo es? Me puede preguntar, yo... <risa> <laughs> okay, very good. Somebody else while my answer is yes, I am. I I am a good student. I can follow instruction all the time. Okay, very good. So that's a good example, Carlos and, and everybody. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. I am a good student, right? And mm -hmm. I follow instructions all the time. Okay. Y ustedes después de, después de que ustedes contestan una sí o no, pueden decir lo que quieran en el tiempo que sea. Okay. Right? You can say, yes, I have followed instructions for 10 years. He seguido instrucciones por 10 años. Okay. Okay. Right? Yes. Okay. Guys, don't be shy. Si hay algo que les digo y no me lo entienden, pues por favor. Thank you. Este, dígamelo, hágamelo saber para que el tiempo en los breakout rooms sea más provechoso y que no, no, no nos confundamos tengan esa confianza en mí guys que igual que ustedes yo no aprendí eh, inglés estando en los estados por 10 años yo lo aprendí aquí en el país y yendo solo los sábados trabajando, estudiando y sé que es difícil yo lo aprendí como ustedes, así que tengan la confianza de decirme teacher, me quedé en la luna no lo entendí, me pueden escribir al chat o lo pueden decir en el grupo porque siempre hay gente con dudas pero no hay gente que tenga quizás la confianza, por no decir el valor, obviamente, porque hay gente que le da pena de preguntar. So ask. Okay? Pregunten. All right, guys. So let's get this to it. Uh, let's get this going. Repeat after me, please. I will be able to. I will be able to. I will be able to. Tell someone. Tell someone how to do something how to do something by using imperatives. By using imperatives. Mm -hmm. That's right. So let me share this with you here. I will be able to tell someone how to do something by using imperatives. Very good. I need a volunteer to read this, please. Thank you. Me, Jocelyn. Yes. All right, go ahead, Jocelyn, please. Okay, I will be able to tell someone how to do something by using imperative. Thank you very much. Good, good. So today we're going to learn how to give instructions, okay? So repeat after me, please. Hello, Mr. Ronald. Hello, Mr. Hello, Ronald. Mr. Ronald. Hello, Ronald. Today is your first day at the plant. Today is your first day at the plant. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Ms. Nunez. My name is Ms. Nunez. Ms. Nunez. And I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. And, and I'm going, going to explain what you must do in the production, the production, the production, the production line. line. Very good. In this one, guys, please mention the M. Because I am hearing, I am. and I going, I and you got to say going. like this, and I'm, and I'm and going, going, and I'm going, and I'm going. I'm going. And I'm going. Oh, very good. One more time. My name is Ms. Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. My name, my is, name is Ms. Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Doing the production line. 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 Right? Line. So that's why ending sounds are very important. Los sonidos finales son super importantes. Everybody with me and make emphasis on the end sound. Line. 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 Very good. Nice to meet you, Ms. Nunez. Where do we start? Nice to meet you, Ms. Nunez. Where do we start? Nice to meet you, Ms. Nunez. Where do you start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. 
Furs, Furs, Shannon's, Furs, 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 Thank you, Ana Maria. Please push this red button. Please push this red button. Ah, ha. Bus. But, 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 uh, but, 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 um, but um, this is with the schwa, but pretty much just like you say, but, and from the T to the end. But, 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 because many people button. confuse it with this. Bottom. Bottom. Uh -huh, exactly. This is bottom. Right? So, button. button. Say with me, please. Button. Bottom. 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 Let's continue, please. Pass. Second. Grab a pair of tongues. Second. Grab a pair of tongues. Grab a pair of tongues. Second. Uh -huh. That's what I was going to ask you guys. Which is the correct, which is the correct pronunciation? Number one. Second. On, second. Or number two, second. Second. Number two, number two, second. Number two right? We don't number pronounce two. the O. Second. No pronunciamos la O. Second. 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 Uh -huh. second. Grab a pair of tongues. Grab a pair, a pair of, of tongues. Pair of tongues. And pick every piece of chocolate. And pick every, every, every piece of, of chocolate. 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 This guys is it goes so all together. Piece of chocolate. Piece of, piece of chocolate. Of chocolate. Of chocolate. chocolate. Read this chart and check every chocolate. piece. Read this chart and check every piece. every piece. Make sure each meets the specifications in this chart. Make sure each meets the specifications in this chart. Make sure each chart. 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 Church. Church. Uh -huh. Church. One more time, ending sounds. Make sure you chart. you pronounce chart. the T. No hay que soltarla, no es necesario decir chart. ¿sí? Pero sí hay que llevar la lengua en la posición de la T. Chart. 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 Uh -huh. chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, I have a question, guys. Do I pronounce the A? Do I say finally or finally? Finally. Mm -hmm. finally. One more time, the A is not pronounced so hard. You're not going to say fina. You're going to say final. No, the como que pasamos otra vez de la N a la L. Everything linked. Fill in a report. Fill in a report. Fill in a report. Fill in a report. At the end of the day, about the defective pieces. At the end of the day, about the defective pieces. Right. Um, las palabras que generalmente terminan en sonido de S, como por ejemplo piece en singular, pieza, piece, cuando van en plural vibra un poquito. Pieces. 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 So, I'm going to say it in English and I want you to say it in Spanish, all right? Translation services, write down any new vocabulary. Hello, Miss Roland, this is your first day at the plant. Hola, Don Rolando. Ahora es, un, es tu primer día en la planta. En planta. That's right. Hola, señor Rolando o Don Rolando. Hoy mm -hmm. es el primer día, su primer día. Su primer, su primer día. día en la planta. My name is Miss Núñez and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Señorita Núñez, le explicaré lo que debe hacer en la línea de producción. Mi nombre es señorita Núñez y le voy a explicar o le explicaré lo que tiene que hacer, más do, en la línea de producción. Good job. Nice to meet you, Miss Núñez. Where do we start? 
Mucho gusto, señorita Núñez. ¿Dónde empezamos? ¿Dónde empezamos? That's right. O por dónde empezamos. No, no hace referencia al lugar, no es que vámonos a la cocina y le voy a enseñar la cafetera, sino que por dónde, de, de qué, qué actividades. Right? Continue. Okay. First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Uh, conveyor belt. Ajá. First, you are in charge of... La cinta transportadora. Muy bien. Primero, el botón rojo. estás a cargo de... Estás a cargo. In charge of es estar a cargo de... ¿Se acuerdan que ya vimos esto? Yes. Uh -huh. Detener. Aquí no es deteniendo. Detener. La, 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 ¿Cómo se llama esto? El conveyor belt. La faja transportadora. La cinta transportadora. Sí, la faja transportadora. Uh -huh. la cinta transportadora. el botón rojo. Please push this red button. Presiona este botón. Por favor, presiona este botón rojo. Second, grab a pair of thumbs. Grab. This is grab. I'm going to grab my phone. Agarrar, uh -huh. I'm going to grab my phone. Agarrar. Agarrar, agarrar, agarrar tomar. Now, uh -huh. there is also an expression um, that is called to grab a bite. Poco a poco se van a ir dando cuenta, guys, que una cosa significa algo en un contexto y otra en otra. To grab a bite es como ir a comer algo. Hey, let's grab a bite. Right? Es como ir a comer algo. Así en, bien coloquialmente. Let's grab a bite. Y si quieren decir que ustedes se invitan, le van a decir my treat. My treat. My treat. Tú invitas your, your treat. treat. Uh -huh. your treat. treat. That's right. Treat. No tiene nada que ver, pero está relacionado con, con, con eso. Let's continue. Por favor, agarra un par de Tenazas, pinzas. Tenazas o pinzas. Generalmente son pinzas. And pick every piece of chocolate. Si selecciona una pieza. Cada pieza de chocolate. Cada pieza de chocolate. Selecciona. Cada pieza de chocolate. Elige cada pieza de chocolate. Muy bien. Read this chart and check every piece. Le, lee este gráfico, gráfico y verifica el precio. Ajá. Lee este gráfico o un cuadro. Sí. Puede ser un cuadro también, no de esos de banco o algo así. Uh -huh. sino que chequea cada pieza. Y chequea cada pieza. Very good. Make sure each meets the specifications in this chart. Asegúrate de conocer cada especificación en este cuadro gráfico. Ajá. ¿Verdad que meet es conocer? Sí. Pero en este caso es diferente. Asegúrate que cada uno cumple. Ah. Cumple con las especificaciones. ¿Cómo se dice cumplir con los requerimientos? Meet with. Meet, meet the requirements. Ajá. Meet the requirements. That's right. So, meet no es solo conocer, dependiendo del contexto y lo que viene después, puede ser cumplir. Ok. All right, very good. Let's continue with this one. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Eh, pon el chocolate que salió más defectuoso en este bote o contenedor. ¿no? Ok, almost there. Tercero, pon el chocolate defectuoso en este. Embudo. Embudo. Muy bien. Guys, let me tell you something. Mucha gente me pregunta cómo, cómo van a aprender vocabulario. Saben que funnel, ya siendo maestro, no es una palabra que yo ocupo, pero aprendiendo a hablar city. Vayan a hablar city, tomen los, los, las cosas que quieran comprar y casi siempre están en inglés y en francés. Right? 
Así que eso les va a ayudar mucho. Traten de rodearse el inglés a donde sea. Si lo ven, les va a ayudar bastante. Lo vi una vez y no se me olvidó. Let's continue. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Eh, finalmente, lleno reporte al final del día acerca de todas las piezas defectuosas. Mm -hmm. Very good. Finalmente, llena un reporte al final del día acerca de las piezas defectuosas. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let me ask you something, guys. Did you learn any new vocabulary here? Uh, yes. Yeah? Make sure you practice it every day. Now, I have a question. When do you think we use... She's explaining what you must do. Is must uh, an option or an obligation? An obligation. An obligation. Okay. Very good. When I say this, push this red button. What do you think is the structure? What is push? Uh, presionar. Uh -huh. So what is that? Is that a noun? Is that a verb? It's there. Do you guys agree that push is a verb? Push is a verb. A verb. Okay, very good. And what is this red button? What is that? Complement. 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 Okay. Now, let's analyze this one. Second, grab a pair of thongs. What is the structure? Pair plus complement. Pair plus complement. Plus complement. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Pick every piece of chocolate. What is the structure? Pair plus complement. Pick bear. 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 Mm -hmm. Plus complement. Plus complement. Next one, let's continue. Read this chart. Read this chart. This chart the complement. What is the verb? Read. Read. And the complement? This chart. This chart. This chart. And check every piece. What is the verb? Check. Complement? Every piece. Every piece. Make sure every piece. each meets their specifications in this chart. What is the verb? Make. Make. Uh -huh. make. In this case, is make has a little complement. They go together. Make sure. Asegurarse. Okay. Okay. Aunque sean dos palabras, siempre yes, va. Yes, yes. Siempre va junto. Each meets the specifications in this chart. Complement. Place the defective chocolate in this funnel. What is the verb? Place. Place. What is the complement? The defect chocolate. Chocolate in the fun, this one. And the last one. Que aburrido, vea. Que barbaridad. Se repite una y otra vez. Okay. Fill in a report at the end of the day, at the end of the day about the defective pieces. What is the verb? Fill. Oh. Fill. Llenar. Oh. oh, fill in in this case. Oh. Fill in. Mm -hmm. And what is the complement? A report at the end of the day about the detective's case. Detective case. Mm -hmm. That's right. A report. Do we have a subject here in this structure? Do we use the subject? No. No. No, no subject. No, I said. No, I said. No, I said. No. Obviamente, so, a quien le están diciendo? Mr. Roland. Uh, Mr. Roland. Ah, Roland. Ah, le están diciendo a Roland, vea. Pero eso es contexto, porque le están diciendo uh -huh. que hagan algo. So, están dando órdenes. Exactly. This, guys, uh -huh. is going to be your structure for imperatives. All right? Uh -huh. Before you have any question, this is verb and complement. All right? Let me take attendance real quick so we can continue. Uh -huh. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Ada María Chacón. Ana María Chacón de García. <laughs> Present. Carlivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Thank you. Carlivania, your turn. Uh, 10 to yes. 10, 10. Yes, yes. Thank you. Débora Raquel Soto Martínez. Débora. Débora de Aguirre. Okay. Uh, I'll take that as a present. Thank you. Edson Andrés Guzmán Andrés. Edson, not present. present. Fátima Ifegenia López. Vamos. Present, teacher. Present. 
Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales. Yes, present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Sus unidades especiales, que en este caso son tres, el abuelito. José Antonio. Ok, not present. José Saúl González Roque. Present. Carla Yaneta Maya Herrera. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Mariana Carolina Sinjero Reyes. No, present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. No, present. Sen Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Reina María Isabel Árvarez de Chávez. Present. Thank you. Sabrina Mobeletín Castro. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Carlos Armando Duque. Duque, Duarte. Duarte, my apologies. No le quería Present. cambiar el apellido. Sorry about that. Carlos Armando Duarte, I'm getting choked already. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, do you have any questions about imperatives? No? No questions? Mm -hmm. All right. So who is responsible for stopping the conveyor belt? Mr. Roland. Mr. Roland. What are some of Mr. Roland's responsibilities? Push the red button. Right. Uh -huh. Push Grab the red button. To read the chart. Uh -huh. Field okay. reports. To field reports. Mm -hmm. Le vamos a poner el to al principio. Solo okay. aquí. Porque solo nos es, esto no es una orden, sino que estamos hablando yes. de ello. Affirmation. Uh -huh. okay. so, no es una orden que estamos diciendo, sino que estamos contestando una pregunta. To, to fill, okay. fill in the chart. To make sure so, each piece blah 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 to fill in okay. a report etc what kind of machinery is there in vamos a cambiarla in his workplace what is uh, the machinery he's using industrial conveyor the conveyor belt where can you find conveyor belts um, where can you find them Airport. Airports, uh huh. Airports. Yeah. factories. Factories, yeah. Mm -hmm. Most likely in, in that type of industry. Super selects. The super. Cashier. Yeah, actually, actually, yeah, that's a conveyor belt by the cashier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So read after me, please. How do you use imperative? 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 You use, imperative? use imperatives to give an order. Use imperative, imperative to give an order. Give me examples of orders, guys. Thank you. Oh, okay. Clean your room. Yeah, I hate that one. What else? Mm. Orders, only orders. Clean the house. Clean the house, uh huh. Take a sip. Cook the lunch. Do your homework. Do your homework, uh huh. Watch the clothes. <laughs> what else? Wash your car. Wash your car. Wash your feet. Be Wash. quiet. Be quiet Be is quiet. another way of saying shut up, right? Be quiet. These are orders. Now, give me examples of instructions. Mm. Read that book. Read the, <laughs> follow the line. Read the manual. Follow, follow the line. Uh -huh. mm. Check the report. 
But, go ahead. Yeah, what what do you see when you enter the supermarket? Mm. It takes a temper. Take in the temper. Mm -hmm. Guys, uh, do me a favor. Keep the distance. Shake your step. Okay, good. There is a very thin line. Careful with the TV, guys. I'm hearing a lot of background noise coming. TV background noise. So careful with that one. Okay. There is a very thin line in the difference between an order and an instruction. Okay. For example, clean the house, that's, that can be either or. Hay una línea muy delicada entre órdenes e instrucciones, guys. Okay. Y una, una misma palabra, por ejemplo, clean the house, puede ser una orden. Si usted no quiere y se le dice a su esposa o su papá o su mamá, es una orden. Pero si, digamos, alguien va a salir, mira, ahí te dejé la, la lista de cosas que tú tienes que hacer. Puede ser una instrucción. No podemos ser tan cerrados en eso. Pero sí hay una diferencia. There is a difference. Instructions, for example, this is one of the most common. Mm. Ah. Mm. Pull and push. Uh, Pull and push, for, right? Cook for 10 minutes. Aha. Uh -huh. Whenever you're cooking, you have instructions. You don't have orders, right? Mm. Right. Mm. So, who likes Maruchan? <laughs> me. Okay. Can you give me an instruction for Maruchan? Mm -hmm. uh, it fears boil water. Okay, that's an instruction. Boil water. Do you have a, do you have a maruchan near you? ¿Quién tiene un maruchan en la casa que la vaya a traer y vea si hay instrucciones en inglés? Nobody? No. Ah, hoy nadie come maruchan. Yo porque me comí una noche ya no tengo. <laughs> All right. Very good. So these are the crash. <laughs> These are, we use it for orders and instructions. Now, we also use it for, or to make invitations. Can you give me an example for an invitation? Yeah. Anybody can give me. Oh, Maruchan, you went and got it. Is, is, it, in, 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 <laughs> is it in English, Cardiwani? Um, no, in English. Okay. All right. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. First, pick the cover up to the miller at ingredient and boiling water with the lime. At ingredients, at <laughs> boiling water. Okay. <laughs> There you uh, go. So, mm -hmm. Second. Yeah. Uh, close the cover and let repose for almost three minutes. <laughs> Good. And let uh, sit for three minutes. Finally, take the cover up, revolver, and enjoy. <laughs> Take the cover up and enjoy. Take the cover up, steer, and enjoy. Thank you very much, Cardivania, for your effort. Okay. So as you can see in the chat, guys, the last one, for example, says, Take the cover out, steer, and enjoy. Right? Um, good. En la misma he metido tres. Esto se llama comas in a series, guys. Significa que un command, un imperativo, no solamente es como un verbo, sino que pueden ir varios, como pueden ver en ese ejemplo. Okay? Now, give me an example of an invitation. Algo que no sea ni instrucción ni, ni sea orden. Una invitación. Hoy 
Vamos al cine. Go to the party. Go to the beach. Go to the cinema. Okay. Normally, the when you have this, it is let's go. Let's go to the party. Let's to the go party. To it. Vamos a la fiesta. COVID party. Uh -huh. It is not an instruction. It is not an order. Right? It is just an invitation. Come over to my house. Ven a mi casa. Come over to my house. Do you understand the difference between orders, instructions, and invitations? Come over to clean my house. Ah, tampoco no hay que hacer aprovechado para invitarlo. Qué barbaridad. Netflix en chill, tal vez una película, palomitas, popcorn, etc. All right, guys. So this is pretty much what you're gonna do right now. You're gonna be working with it. Do you guys have any questions? No. Explique una última vez, dice, yo lo entiendo. Ok. Más que ya la maestra de atrás. Es que se escucha una interferencia. Yeah, that's right. No worries. I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to work hard on this one. So imperatives are going to be used for you to give an order. Like, for example, um, I don't know, the police can tell you. Uh, to the ground, right? Or... Take your hands out of the car. Saca las manos del vehículo. Take your hands out of the car. Those are orders. So you just use the verb and the complement. You can also use them to give instructions, like Maruchan instruction. Add boiling water. Wait for three minutes. Steer, menealo, un poquito. And enjoy. And you can also use it to make an invitation. Ven a mi casa, come over to my house. No es una orden, no es que por obligación tenga que ir. Ni una instrucción, depende. ¿verdad? Si alguien les dice, ve a mi casa, puede ser una, una orden si es su jefe, una instrucción, por ejemplo, si es su mamá, o una invitación si es algún suchero. But the idea is that you have to do what is being told. Tienes que hacer lo que se te dice. You got it? Yeah. 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 Any questions on this, guys? Today is the time that you can ask. No? What is the structure for imperatives? Verb plus complement. That's right. Verb plus complement. Do we use a subject? No. No. We don't no. use subject. However, no necessary. If I tell you, um, sit down. Stand up. <laughs> yeah. okay. Am I, sit down. Am I telling everybody? Le estoy diciendo todos o alguien en particular? Everybody, right? But if I tell you. Everybody. Jocelyn, coma, sit down. Am I telling everybody or am I telling Jocelyn? No. Jocelyn. O sea que aquí se hay sujeto. Yes. Yes. No. Jocelyn. Ah, so la coma. So la coma. Exactly. If you notice, I am using a coma. That means that the only thing I'm doing is trying to get in the attention of the person I'm talking to. Por eso tiene que llevar una coma y un pequeño... Un pequeño espacio de, tiempo. espacio de tiempo. William, turn off your camera. It's an example. Don't do it. You see? So, William, a little pause. Turn off your camera. Mm -hmm. Porque si yo lo ocupo como sujeto, sería William turns off his camera allá tendría que conjugar el verbo como no lleva coma aquí si es sujeto, aquí si es simple present so remember guys, si ustedes quieren llamar la atención de la persona si pueden mencionar el nombre hacen una pausa muy chiquitita porque solo es para obtener su atención y luego dan la orden, la instrucción o la invitación ¿estamos? 
Any questions on this? No. All right, very good. So this is what we're gonna do, guys. I wanted to work on this. These are the, the steps on how chocolate is made. And I wanted to try to get the correct verb to the correct description. All right, I'm gonna send this via WhatsApp in case you don't have it with you. And work together. Guys, hoy sí tenemos que, soy muy, muy, entiendo mucho lo del background noise, pero hoy sí ha estado a un nivel un poquito más alto que los días anteriores. So, eso sí dificulta un poco la clase. ¿no? Tratemos de siempre tenerlo a la medida de lo posible lo más bajo. So, let's go to the breakout rooms, guys. Let's complete this chart. We're going to have five minutes. No more than five minutes, so we can practice a little bit more. Accept the invite, and I'll see you back in five. La voy a, la voy a, quiero ver si la puedo compartir acá. Okay. Uh -huh. Para que la podamos tener. En, pero no la ha mandado el teacher. Ah, bueno, aquí la tengo yo en el otro teléfono. Espérame. Ahí está ya. Para que no hable. <ríe> Que no diga que no la han dado. No, that's not the point. That's not the point. <laughs> All right, bro, we only got five minutes. Go for it. Okay. Permitir, permitir. Galería. The second B. Ya, ya la ven. Yes, I found it. Okay. Okay. Go for it. Okay. How are you doing, guys? Hello. I'm being supported. Let's say, let's say, for me, the third set, let's say, yeah, check. Check the cocoa beans into power. Powder. Check, uh, check, check, uh, uh, pero como, eh, revisar como los granos de, co de cocoa, es lo que entiendo yo ahí. Polvo, ajá. Uh -huh. Form. Uh -huh. Sería form. No. Lo vemos en más. Ah, no. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. aquí lo hacemos. Lo hacemos. Uh -huh. Dice... Uh -huh. Primero es cheque. Separate, then is... Separar, cheque... Etiquete, arme, suelo, dice, mezcla y formulación, dice. Eso dice, le dice, todos los ingredientes para hacer el chocolate. Package, mm, cho assemble the chocolate package, no, mm, si sí creo. Asamble. Mix the cocoa beans in, into powder, creo yo. Y este sería, no, pero es que. Assemble all the ingredients to make the chocolate tablet y el otro es mix de cocoa beans into, into powder, creo que es el que le veo más sentido. O sea, aquí, aquí, aquí mix. Assemble no sería el segundo entonces. Y aquí sería para mí, ¿verdad? No sé qué opinan. Y para y aquí sería assemble, porque aquí ya es para hacer la tabla de chocolate como assemble, es como armar todos los ingredientes, no sé. 
Yo pienso que la ajá, Assemble sería la segunda. Pero. Pero. Te cocó a Beans. Te cocó a Beans. No, pero. Um, ground. Es que ground, en este contexto, ¿qué significa ground? Ground es suelo, pero en este contexto. Yeah. Teacher, en este contexto, ground. Let me answer that question. Give me a second. Nombre se puede ser ground. Have you ever seen this? Okay. This is ground. Ah, okay. Right. Ah, pues este ground, este ground, de, este ground y el otro es powder with milk mix. Aquí ground. Okay, pero. Aquí pero. Aquí es este ground. ¿Por qué de qué es? Este quinto es como dentro. Dentro, into Poland. Dentro, permíteme. Vamos a ver. Yo creo que sería como convertir uh -huh. las semillas de cocoa en polvo. Uh -huh. Correcto. Uh -huh. Veamos qué palabra se adecua más a, a da más sentido. ¿verdad? A ground, quiero ver, ¿qué dijimos que era ground? ground. Oh. Veamos, form, form is, is forma. Or, ah, formar, uh -huh. that, that's a verb. Formar. Uh, teacher, uh, where is the reference ground? Es que lo busco y me sale suelo. Have you ever seen this? Wrong. Yeah. Triturar. Okay. okay. Triturar o moler. Ah. Oh. Ah, pues ese ah, sería. Entonces creo que sería ground, ground Ajá. de cocoa beans into powder. Ajá, exacto. Thanks. Two more minutes, guys. Okay. Es que como que no están en orden, ¿verdad? La, la, la... Armar, reunir, montar. Armar. Pero ¿cuál es la pronunciación? Assemble. Assemble. ¿Cuál es la pronunciación? Assemble. Reunir. Pero, ¿verdad que es como una comunicación que no está en orden? No. Excuse me. Ok. El cuadro este, son como instructions, pero no está, no está siguiendo un orden o sí. Mm. No. No, I, I don't think so. No, Now, remember that this, you're labeling the steps. Is focus more on the on the verb with the correct context. Don't worry that much about the steps. The order of the okay. steps. Teacher, y ground, ground solo, solo, solo significa gramo. Aquí se lo puede hacer y poner la, la resolución. Creo que salió por aquí, es un gramo. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Sí. Como es... <ríe> no sé ni en español qué significa. Un <ríe> gramo. Uh, it goes with uh, moler, triturar. Ajá, ah, 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 por ejemplo, la pimienta, ¿qué le haces? Ah, no. Yeah, this, ah, no. this is pepper. Ajá. Ajá. ¿Qué gramos se moler? Ah, ah, vaya, entonces sería ese eh, ground, entonces el, sec, el segundo, Pero ah, no, el tercero. No, ground, el tercero, de ¿no? cocoa ground, ground de cocoa beans into powder. Into powder. Powder. 
Un dron de coco a ver, es como claro. mole. Ahora aquí para ver eso. La cuarta. La cinco habíamos dicho label. Label. Etiqueta, el paquete de chocolate. Ah, muy bien. No, pero yo creo que ahí la. la... Y la cuatro es. Yo creo eh... que la dos y la cuatro son mis porque eso no tengo claro. ¿no? Y la cuatro es. Ah, es que la cuatro debería ser form. La cuatro debería ser la form. Cuatro. El paquete de chocolate para. Yo también creo que puede ser form. No, pero la cuatro, la cuatro dice el polvo con la leche. Yo creo que uh -huh. sería mix. Bueno, no sé. Mezcal. I think it's going to be mix. Ah, <laughs> no, I keep it. I mean, whenever possible, say it in English. If you already know how to say it, say it in English. Si ya saben cómo hacerlo, okay. dígalo en inglés. Si no, pues, ok. Ayúdense. Uh, ok, mix the powder with milk. <laughs> No sé. Yo le encuentro más sentido a Mitz, pero... No. Mitz de... Ajá. Ok, ya pues en Mitz. Mitz de... Todos los ingredientes para hacer la, la, la tableta de chocolate. Ajá. Y como está en desorden, no están en orden las instrucciones, están en desorden. Entonces la número dos sería ground. Y sería moler todos los ingredientes para hacer la tableta de chocolate. Y ahí sería... Por Y la otra podría ser Asambo. Quiero ver si esta puede ser Asambo. Ensemble, ensemble, ensemble. Ajá, ensemble es como armar. La coca es como mezclar. Ensemble es como mezclar, dice. No, no, no puede ser porque tenemos mix y mix es mezclar. No, ensemble es armar, right? Yeah, it most goes more like armar. Ah, reunir, montar, mm -hmm. ensamblar. Ah, uh -huh. okay. okay. Entonces, Keep it up. We're almost back to the main room. Okay. Right. You got it, guys? Yeah. 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 Teacher, hay una palabra que falta. Se repite una palabra. There is one word missing. Yes, you can repeat words. Mix. 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 Okay. If it makes sense, yes. Okay. Okay. Round, mix, mix, and tumble for label check. Is there else? Um, if it sounds good to you, then I, I'll go with you. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any new word that you learned? Did you learn any new word? Um, I don't understand. Did you learn? Aprendieron mm -hmm. alguna palabra? Okay, guys, welcome back. Is this easy or difficult? Difficult. Difficult. Muy enredoso. Yeah, yes. no worries. Um, what are you working with right now? What are these? Orders, instructions, invitations? Instructions. 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 So, separate, read it with me, please. Separate the raw materials to get only the best cocoa beans. Separate the raw materials to get only the best cocoa beans. Yeah, cocoa beans, no, those are hojas. Cocoa. All right, number two. What is the verb you have for number two? Mix. Mix. Assemble. 
Mix. Assemble. Mix. 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 Okay, who gives me more? Who gives me more? Who gives me more? Mix. Mix. Chinese, brown. Yeah. Yeah. Let me explain to you why, guys. Oh, because you have the cocoa beans, right? And the, you have to ground them to make. Uh, so pretty much you have to. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Wait. <laughs> mix. Mix. Uh, mix. That's right. Sorry, mix confused. all the ingredients. Yeah, I got confused. <laughs> so say with me, please. Mix all the ingredients to make the, cho to make the chocolate, chocolate tablet. Tablet. Mix all the ingredients. What about this one? The cocoa beans into powder? Brown. 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 Yes, that's uh -huh. right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Say with me, please. Ground the cocoa beans into powder. Ground the cocoa beans into powder. Ground the cocoa beans into powder. This one. What do you think? The powder with milk. Mix. 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 Yep. Good job. Yeah. Say with me, please. Mix the power powder Mix. with milk. Mix the powder <laughs> with milk. The chocolate package to finish. Label. Assemble. Label. Assemble. 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 The chocolate package to finish. Mm -hmm. So, which is armar. Tienen que armar el paquetito, ¿no? Donde va el chocolate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next one. Form. 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 That is Form. correct. Form. A simple paste. Form. A simple paste. Simple paste. Uh, I don't know if they want to say simple. I guess they wanted to say single. I Label. think. Creo yo. Formar una pasta única. No le ha sentido simple, pero anyways, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what my thing is. Mm, label. <laughs> label. 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 Ah, label. 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 So, guys, label is the action, but it's also the noun. Um, I don't have anything new. No tengo nada nuevo con pero la tirita donde sale el, 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 la etiqueta. La etiqueta. So, it is also the action and the etiqueta. And the last one? Check. 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 Mm -hmm. Check. 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 Verb plus complement. Verb plus complement, which this is optional. Right? The complement is optional. When you go to the supermarket, you're gonna you can say push and you can say pull. And that's it. Solo eso. Push or pull. Mm -hmm. So the complement, if it's obvious, it doesn't, it's not required. So the complement is optional. On the door. Uh -huh. Very good. So guys, this is what you're going to do right now. Um, you're going to focus on finding a process for you to manufacture it. Okay? You're going to manufacture a product. And you're going to give me um, the instructions on how to do it. You can choose the product. It can be a shirt. It can be a hamburger. It can be whatever. Van a escoger un producto y entre ustedes me van a escribir los pasos. Justo esto que hemos hecho, pero ustedes escogen el producto. Tiene que ser un producto. Okay? It can be a shoe if it's not complicated. Try to choose something that is easy. And no more than 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No more than 8 steps. No más de ocho pasos, ¿ok? 
All right. Any questions on the on the work you're gonna do? Un producto como de una fabricación de producto. O... Yes, it has to be something that you need to manufacture. Okay. Okay. Now, how do you say materia prima? Raw material. Raw material. Raw material. Ustedes creen que me pueden poner el, el proceso de cortar la caña de azúcar y ponerla en, en la rastra? Yes. Eso es un proceso, pero ustedes no están cambiando el estado de la caña, ¿no? Okay. No creo yo, en mi opinión, que sea manufactura. No, no, manufactura. Usted deja de la caña y la transforma en azúcar. En azúcar, ese y es un manufacturing process. So that's what I need you to do. Manufacturing process, no more than eight steps. Ok. Any questions? No. Okay, go back to your manufacturing products or manufacturing products process. Okay, process. Just manufacturing okay. process. All right, guys, okay. see you at 9.45. You got eight minutes. Aquí no les puedo dar más tiempo porque hay que tomar lista. Manufacturing okay. process, guys. Okay. Go for it. Deborah, Catherine, did you get the invite? Good. Well, it's a separate, okay. Uh-huh. Eh. Deseado. Ah, no, ahí te terminaba. Limpiar el algo. Clean, clean the algodon. Sería clean the cotton. Cotton. From the T to the end. Cotton. 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 Okay, cotton. Without... Keep track of time, guys. Okay. I like what you're doing, but keep track of time. Eh, clean. Ajá, cabal. Sí, va. Check the raw material. Check, ¿verdad? Sí, check. Verificar o chequear check, la materia check prima. The raw material. Ajá. Raw. Raw. Raw, raw. material. Raw. Ok. Second Chico. or next? Vamos. Get up, guys. You got four minutes. Okay, teacher. Okay. Sería, no sé, o recoger, no pick up de los granos. Sí. Eh? Recoger los granos. Cosecharlos. No sé, cosechar, no sé cómo cosechar. Hagamos los tamales para que salgan fácil. You guys got four minutes. Turkey fish. Right? Okay. 
Esa, esa sería, ¿verdad? Cosechar. Harvest. Harvest. Um, depends. If, if you're saying, um, yeah, use harvest. Use harvest. No worries. Let me check. Yeah, use harvest. Okay. Y es grains o esa es la, la pronunciación correcta. Granos. Grains. 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 Okay. All right, keep it up. Remember, you have to manufacture a product. Right? Okay. To change it from raw material to the actual product. Yeah, we're trying to create a... Um, I don't know the pronunciation, power or powder. Powder? It's like a R, powder. What type of powder? Um, coffee. Como okay. café molido. Like instant coffee? Ah, yeah, instant coffee, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, that, Isela, don't be sorry. Don't say I'm sorry, it's okay. Es costumbre. Ya lo iba a decir otra vez. Lo volví a decir en español. I know. Keep this okay. up. Let me put it. Continue. Okay. So, yeah, protection of lighting and feeding of the cane. Of the cane. Sería recepción y alimentación de la caña. Recepción de carga y alimentación de la caña. Lo puede poner en el chat, ya en inglés, porfa. Ahí ya nos ah, está sacando. Ajá. Yo sí tengo un minuto. Keep it up. Eh, okay. eh, entonces lo podríamos poner en el chat. Ajá, el otro paso. Eh, el otro paso. El segundo, es extracción del cubo. Extracción del cubo. I'll give you a recommendation after I take attendance, okay? El siguiente. El siguiente ahorita. Número tres. Let's Hola. take attendance real quick and then uh, we'll see. Ana Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Ana María Chucón de García. Present. Carly Vania Cabrera Sodano. Present. Débora Raquel Soto Martínez. Present. Edson Adón y Guzmán Landaverde. José Guardá Sacubusa. ¿Does anybody know Edson? ¿Alguien lo conoce? ¿Trabaja con alguno de ustedes? ¿No? Okay. No. no. Fátima y Fegenia López Ramos. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales. Present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Sí. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. José Antonio. José Antonio. Present. Oh, ok, good. José Saúl González Roque. Present. Carla Ineta Maya Herrera. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. Not present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miriam Carolina Mosso Valdés. Not present. Cristian Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Reina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Taberna Mabel Atín Castro. Tabri. Not present. Sandra Elizabeth Sorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Um, Tela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Jocelyn. Present. 
Okay, thanks. Did you finish, guys? No. Now, let's... Okay, remember, guys. Um, keys method. Keys. What is the meaning of keys? This is an acronym. Do you know? Keys. Uh, uh -huh. Metal. Rock metal. Keep it short and simple. Okay. Keep it short sure. and simple. So if you don't know the process, guys. Okay. No teacher, que our group finish. Okay. Very good, Ana Maria. No necesito que trabajen. Congratulations, by the way. Tan duro, sino que trabajen de una manera inteligente. He visto varios que lo estaban pasando del español al inglés. Y se tomaron el tiempo de buscar los pasos en español para pasarlos en inglés. ¿Por qué no los buscan en inglés de un solo? Oh. Right. So, no es copia, sino que se traten de tomar un poquito más de aquí en inglés. All right. Démosle, guys. I'm going to give you. No les puedo dar mucho para que todos puedan pasar. Super quick. Les daré unos cuatro minutos más. Pero píquenme. Démosle. Keep it short and simple. Yes, yeah. Alrighty, girls. Okay. So if you're already finished, practice yes, saying it, practice the pronunciation, and make sure you do it quick. Because when we come back, we're going to do it super quick. Teacher, uh, um, or write simple, simple tasks, simple instructions. Okay. Tell me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Making a potato fry free. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? ¿Qué do you say? How fried do you say? Fried potatoes. Fried potatoes. Bueno, it, it depends. You're going to say French fries. Ajá. Uh -huh. Making French fries. Yeah, French, French fries. fries. Uh -huh. um, select potatoes. Ok. Eh, I need vamos everybody. Vamos diciendo, vamos diciendo una por una, chicas. One okay. by one. potatoes. Fresh potatoes. Peeled potatoes. Good, good in sliced potatoes. Fried potatoes. Which one was that, Jocelyn? Fried potatoes. Okay. Fried them. Yeah. Fried Okay. Season the potatoes. Uh -huh. Packaged potatoes. Label the package. Package them, okay. Label them. Mm -hmm. Label the package. Mm -hmm. um, check control quality. Quality okay. control. Mm -hmm. yeah. Check quality control. Quality. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now I'm going to give you a recommendation, girls. Since you're always talking about potato, 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 potato. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> potato squared. So what you can do is commas in a series, right? Mm, okay. Select, mm -hmm. wash. Select, wash. Peel. Peel. Mm -hmm. Cut. Cut. Ah, pues, pues, podemos llegar hasta peel porque después decimos um, Cut in slice. Exactly. Or mm -hmm. you can say it like this. Steps to manufacture French fries. Uh, select the potatoes. The first one. So you know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Then wash them. Wash mm -hmm. them. Wash them. Wash them. Peel mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. That's another way. But commas yeah. in a series, I think, is going to be your best option. Mm -hmm. As long as you're talking about potatoes, black, coma, black, coma, black, coma. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good job, girls. I liked it. All righty. Okay, um, teacher. I think we're, we have just one more minute. Let me check another group, and then we go back, all right? Okay. How are you doing, guys? Uh, you need any help? Um, Hello. 
No. Sí. Ah. Mix. Estamos, no. estamos este, aquí haciendo una, estamos preparando una cebada. Entonces, okay. <ríe> entonces, um, cuando agregamos eh, la harina de arroz y la disolvemos en una taza de agua por cinco minutos, ¿cómo sería? Ad, adicionar, ¿no? Add a cup of flour. Ah, lo dejamos uh, así. Yeah, add a cup of flour, yeah. Ah, ok. And then? Um, Dissolve so a cup of water for five, for five minutes. And add the vanilla. Okay, add vanilla, good. Uh, add strawberry some essence. Berries. Add strawberry uh, juice. Essence okay. or and essence. the sugar. Let's try to do this quick. We have seven minutes for seven groups, okay? So group number one, Fatima, Fernando, and William, go for it. Okay, convert, convert the, the cotton in cloth. Into cloth. Mm -hmm. Into cloth. Okay. Uh, uh, first, uh, separate the cotton from seed. Uh, second, clean the cotton. Third, uh, send the cotton to waving machine to convert into thread. Okay. Uh, and finally, uh, wave the the thread until convert into cloth. Okay. Good, good, good. It's good enough. Um, for the next one, you did great, Fer, but I need the three of you participating. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. But it's, it's okay. I know you work because I saw you working. So, good job. Um, group number two, I think, is Carla Ivani and Roberto, right? Yes. Go for it, my okay. friends. I'm Manufacturing t shirts. Um, check the check the materials. Um, transporting the material to the product unit. Transporting or transport in the base form. Transport. Aha, uh -huh, transport. That's right. Okay, ensemble the material. Okay. Um, next, Roberto. Okay. Check quality in quality control. Mm -hmm. Transport the packages area. Transfer the packages? Area. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. So, transportar los paquetes a otra área o. Transportarlo al área de empacado. Oh, uh, so you can say. Um, Transporting. Send them to packaging. For example, send the product okay. to packaging. Send the product to packaging. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 In okay. okay. um, transport to the export area. Okay. Good. Finish. That's good. That's good. Very good, guys. Remember, this is not easy, especially when you don't know the manufacturing process. Good job, I liked it. Um, Ada, Deborah, and Isela. I don't know if they want to give the information or... Um, I'm not sure, go ahead, because we got four minutes. Okay, um, process to make me stand coffee. We harvest, we harvest the grains and select the, the better one. And after that, we ram the grains in a machine. And then uh, to have the folder, folder, folder copy, we ensemble. Oh. Yeah, please see. Okay. Um. okay Go ahead. And, and finish uh, the the grounds the grounds the the grains in a machine at home. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good enough. However, you are using we 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 like French we we. 
So eliminate the subject. Okay. Harvest grain. Uh-huh. Just keep it simpler. Okay. Like harvest the grains, uh, ground Select them. Select the ground. Select the grain. Uh-huh. Select the grains. The Just uh, like that. The, uh, Verb teacher? and complement. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And the... Uh, we have the grains and the selects the grains in the after and take it to the green in the machine and the transport the grain uh, and they sample the coffee pack and uh, level the pockets and check the quality. Yeah, you got it. Good job. Without the we. That's good, guys. Remember, this is practice. Good job. Okay. Um, let's go with Jose Saul, Catherine, and Renee. Uh, manufacturing the sugar. Mm -hmm. First, harvest the cane. Second, chop the cane. Third, green the cane. Mm -hmm. uh, then, uh, extract the juice. The juice, uh -huh. juice. The juice, the juice. Yeah. Fi uh, 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 next, evaporate and crystallize the juice. The juice. Finally, finally, uh, dry and cool up this chore. Excellent. Yeah. Good job. Nothing to add. Good job. Ana Maria, Sandra, and Jocelyn. Hello. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Hey, Jocelyn. For French fries, sorry. And number one, select the potato. Next. Wash the potato. Sorry. All right, be because of time, you can say them all because we still have two more. Okay. Select potatoes, wash them, peel them, cook them, and slide them. Fry potatoes, do some potatoes, package them, level the package, and check the quality. <laughs> Easy, good job, like it. Easy, one okay. after the other. Carlos, Jose, and Rina. Yeah. Very refresh. Okay. Uh -huh. um, uh, mix and boil the water with the cinnamon and cloth for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Carlos? And the rice flour. And dissolve the cup water for five minutes. Mm -hmm. um, next. <laughs> yes. Um, the, add, van add vanilla. Okay. Of the vanilla, the strawberry essence in the sugar to dust. So, chili or white ice. Okay. Okay. Good job. Good, good steps for horchata or cebada, right? Cebada. Okay. Good job. <laughs> Tasty. And the last group, Hector, Carla, and Miguel. Go for it. Okay. Uh, manufacturing uh, flapjacks. Uh, first, melt the butter, sugar, and honey in, in a saucepan. Mm -hmm. Second, turn off the heat. Or add the porridge pot, the soul, and the raisins. Okay. Next, mix well. Then put the mixture into an oven dish. Mm -hmm. After flatten with a spoon. Okay. Uh, bake at 180 degrees Celsius. De degrees, uh huh, degrees. Okay, you do it for 22 30 minutes. <laughs> Next, cook the flapjacks into rectangles. And finally, eat after 30 minutes, and that's all. Okay, good job, guys. Good job. Thank you very much. Hey, tomorrow we're going to continue with this. I am going to tell you what process you will be looking for the first minutes of the class. All right, so thank you very much, guys. It's been a pleasure. Everybody out except Carlita. The rest of you, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Get out of here. Good night. See you tomorrow.
Hey, William, tomorrow, right? Hope to see you. No se pierda. Bye. Estoy. estoy. Okay, bye. Okay, um, pa, 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 pa. okay. Tell me, Cardita. What can hey, I do for you? Este, um, pues no tenemos mucho ahorita. Um, tengo una consulta. Uh -huh. eh, cuando dije transporting, era transport. Transport, yeah. ¿Por qué? Perdón. No, ¿Por qué me dice perdón? Come on, relax. Es que... Um, porque Ahí solo me... ocupamos solo ocupamos el verbo en base mm, y, en, y este lleva ing ajá lleva ing correcto ah, okay. eso sería en gerundio o sea eso sí lo vamos a ocupar Carla no sé si te acordás de la clase de gerundios que iban como sujeto que después iban en el complemento uh -huh. entonces cuando cuando tú crees por ejemplo Um, transporting the coffee. ¿Qué era lo de ustedes? Uh, manufacturing t-shirts. Sería transporting the package. The packages. Okay. O transporting the materials. Ok, vaya. Entonces, si tú vas a ocupar transporting the materials, ese sería tu sujeto. Entonces, sería transporting the materials. A quick is mandatory. Por ejemplo, esto quiere decir transportar los materiales rápido o quickly sería en ese caso. O sea, no le puse la ley LY. Es obligatorio. Entonces, mm. aquí se le está poniendo el ING porque tú estás ocupando, no es transportando, si no quería, sería transportar. Ah, ok. Transportar. Okay. Le pones el ING para que ese verbo se convierta en un noun y sea tu sujeto. Ah, sí. sí Pero, comprendo. Como, como nosotros en los, en los infinitivos no ocupamos sujeto, solo le vamos a poner transport the materials, que significa oh. transportar los materiales. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces, okay, siempre sí. que tú ocupes, solo vas a poner el verbo sin ING. Sí. El verbo base. Uh -huh. el, el base form, correcto. Ok. La otra era um, la diferencia que estábamos haciendo con los de ayer en el proceso era que poníamos first, second. Esa era la única diferencia, pero ahí lo demás se ocupa de igual, ¿verdad? Sí. Ahora, Um, ¿Cómo te puedo explicar? Si tú pones un proceso, sí puedes uh -huh. este, ser más específica con los pasos. Primero, first, second, later, after. Ah, ok. Acá okay. se puede mezclar. Si tú te fijas, ayer nosotros pusimos, por ejemplo, first, coma, we add, uh, we prepare the materials, por ejemplo. Okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, si tú te fijas, ahí sí lleva sujeto. Uh -huh. ¿Okay? Entonces, la diferencia aquí es que tú no estás dando una orden, no estás dando instrucciones, sino que aquí solo estás comentando. Como primero, nosotros preparamos los materiales. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Como Entonces, dando la información. Exacto, como dando la, la, la información. Ahora, se puede también poner así, first, Prepare the material. Entonces, acá te los estoy comparando. Uh -huh. Las frases, para marcar los pasos en un proceso, pueden ser ocupadas siempre que tú quieras. Ah, okay. ok. Pero la diferencia es que ayer sí le podíamos meter sujeto, porque solo lo estás contando, y aquí no. Aquí estás dando una instrucción, una orden. Uh -huh. Porque es la propiedad de los imperativos. Ajá, exacto. Un, algo que tenés que hacer. Es como... Es un comando, un comando. Un obligation. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, es una obligación. Ah, ok. Y están los comandos cortos, como el de push. Exacto. Uh, pull. Ah, ok. okay. Uh, ¿Cuál es uno de los comandos más, eh, más comunes ahorita con esta pandemia? 
¿Qué tenés que andar en la cara? Ah, use mask. Wear. Wear es como portar, vestir. Ah, wear. Si tú, tú usas lentes, uy, me equivoqué, que estos no son mis ojos. Si tú usas <risa> lentes, es wear glasses. ¿Ya? Ah, ajá. Entonces, Algo que wear. utilizamos de, como de vestimenta. De vestimenta, accesorio, incluso pelo largo. Tú puedes decir, I wear long hair. Como yo porto cabello largo, no es I use. Ah, ok. Ajá. Entonces cualquier cosa, aritos, uh, bigote, barba, pelo largo, todo eso sería wear. Interesante, ok. Uh -huh. Wear. Entonces ese es el comando más común ahorita, wear a mask. No es opcional porque si tú quieres ir al súper probablemente no te dejen entrar. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Sí, cabal. Uh -huh. Entonces sí es una orden, es una instrucción. Ok. Y aquí me surge la pregunta. Aquí no hay negativos. ¿Cómo no? Ah, ok. ¿Cómo no? Um, ¿Un ejemplo sería? Um, por ejemplo... ¿O cómo se utilizaría? Vaya. Es que tú <risas> vas a ver, tú puedes ver esto. No smoking. Que sería no, no fumar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Así lo vas a ver en los rótulos, pero este, porque es una señal, no fumar. Uh -huh. También se puede decir esto, por ejemplo, ¿qué le dicen a los niños cuando andan de locos? Don't run. Don't run. ¿Ya? Don't run, es una orden. Uh -huh. eh, don't drink and drive. No tomes y manejes. Uh -huh. Entonces lo único que se le hace a la negativa es ponerle el don't. Ah, oh, eso uh -huh. sería lo único. That's okay. it. Y ahí sería la misma estructura, ¿verdad? Perdón. Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Es la misma estructura. Tenés tu verbo. Si te fijas en este, don't run. Uh -huh. Ahí solo es este, el verbo. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Y el negativo. ¿no? Ajá. Ok. Y ahí le puedes don't run around the pool, por ejemplo. No corras alrededor de la piscina. Te vas a alisar uh -huh. y te vas a dar un gran abrazo. Ese sería el complemento. Don't run around the pool. Ok. Can you give me a couple of examples, please? In negative? Um, don't tell. Don't use cell phone. Uh -huh. Don't use this phone. Don't use the phone. ¿Dónde? And your car. Ah, en tu clase, en la, en tu, en clase. Don't use the cell phone in class. That's an okay. imperative. Es una orden en negativo. That's a good question. Uh, ah, do okay. me a favor. Uh, we have to mention this tomorrow. The, the, um, the book doesn't give you the negatives and I forgot to mention. So okay. remind me tomorrow, please. Okay. Ese, fue, ese es otro, remind me tomorrow. Por favor, recordame mañana. Ok. ¿Sí? Remind, uh -huh. remind me tomorrow. Remind es recordar. Yes, remind es recordar. Ok. Pero como hacer un recordatorio, ¿verdad? De ahí uh -huh. no, nos podemos perder en remind, remember y todas esas cosas. Pero remind me tomorrow. Ac acordame mañana. Ok, ok. <laughs> All right. Any other one, okay. Carla? Um, no. Obviamente, eso solo se puede hacer en negativas y, y afirmativas. No se usan en preguntas ni nada de eso. Correcto. Estos no se usan en, en, en preguntas. Ok. Sí. Porque ahí ya sería eh, hablar de en cualquiera de la estructura. Este, eh, do you smoke? Uh -huh. Do you use the cell phone in class? Ahí tú ya estás preguntando, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sí, sí. ya no es una dar... orden. Exacto, porque estas son obligaciones. No le vas a preguntar a alguien, mire, usted quiere ocupar la mascarilla. No, ocúpela, si no, no entra. Ah, ok. Así de categórico es. Uh -huh. Me parece, ok. Eso vale, sería. Que uh -huh. Perfect, thank you very much. Um, cuide los minutos. Oye, sí, sé, sé que a veces el trabajo y todo eso, uh -huh. pero cuide los minutos.
Other okay. than that, you're doing great. Have yourself okay. a great night. Okay, good night, teacher. Bye-bye, take care. Okay.